Hello everyone, it is Gail from Ticket to Anywhere, and it is time for another edition of Fragment Friday. Ooh, sorry, no coffee yet this morning. Anywho, it is Friday, and this meme is hosted by James over at bookshiclub.blogspot.com, and today is the day to officially get head over to his site and type in all your little link things. So if you haven't done so already, go forth and do it now. You know you want to. Um, I'm still pretty much reading, like, the same books I was reading last week, because I totally suck at reading this week, but, um, yeah, so I'm still reading Two Moon Princess, which I'm having kind of some issues with. I mean, the girl learns English in a day, but she takes, like, a week to learn how to use a fork. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, but yeah. So, that one's a bit slow going, and then, um, Cassandra Clare's City of Fallen Angels came out this week, so I've been trying really hard not to, like, drop everything just to focus on that book, so that makes everything else go a little bit slower, because all I really want to do is read City of Fallen Angels. So, I'll probably just say, fuck it. <laughs> well, I'll probably just, you know start reading that at some point, maybe tomorrow on the plane. I got a lot of, you know, books that I want to read on the plane tomorrow, and my flight's only six hours, so, um, yeah, I'm not gonna get to them all. I mean, I need a flight that's like 24 hours or longer, probably, to get to all the books that I want to read to on the plane, but we'll see what happens. I got my notes, I got a couple of books packed in my bag already, and one of them is the one I'm going to read to today. And that is The Carrier of the Mark by Lee Fallon. Um, Lee is an absolutely amazing, wonderful author, and she lives in Massachusetts. Um, I've had the pleasure of meeting her a couple of times. She's got a delightful Irish accent, which you can hear if you watch her vlogs. Um, she has a YouTube channel, and I can't think of the YouTube name right now, but I'm subscribed to her. So if you can see the people that I subscribe to, you can find Lee. Um, but yeah absolutely wonderful person and I'm very very excited to read her book um, but what I'm going to read to you to, since I haven't read any of this at all and um, I don't want to spoil anything I'm gonna read to you from the prologue and I just like how on the inside it has all these little wispy things kinda of goes like on the front with all the wispy things so I'm going to read to you the prologue James... oh <laughs> James <laughs> okay Flames! Let's get it right! Flames engulf the boat, and my lungs arched as... Uh, I can't read today. I should not do these things without coughing. Flames engulf the boat, and my lungs ached as dark, noxious smoke filled the air. I struggled off the dirty makeshift bed and shuffled across the floor, the cable ties binding my hands and feet, making my progress slow. Then a wall of water smashed through the cabin, dulling the flames. Seizing my opportunity, I threw myself toward the wooden stairs, where the remains of the fire licked their way upward to freedom. I gritted my teeth and reached over to hook the cable, binding my wrists on a jagged piece of scorched metal that I could see through the flames. Turning my face away from the searing heat, I tugged down sharply and felt the tie snap. I screamed as the flames burned my skin, but I didn't have time to worry about the pain. I needed to get out, to warn the others. I had to make sure they were okay. With my hands free, I released my ankles and scrambled up the still-burning stairs to the deck. Through the haze, I could see a group of people on the shore. They stood motionless, staring at the ground. My eyes followed their horrified gazes to the body laying fa face down on the water's edge. And so that is the prologue of The Carry of the Mark. And I just think it sounds absolutely fabulous. And now I want to put aside everything else to find out just what the heck is going on there. So, um, yeah, look for this one in October, right? Yes, October from Harper Teen. And I don't know if I'll be around next week because, as I said, I'm going on a plane. I am actually going off to see this little girl. This is my niece. She is quite adorable and cute. And she might be taking up all of my time next week with distractions. So if I don't see her next week, then I will see you the week after. And yeah, happy reading. <laughs>